I'm going to try to get back into training tomorrow. I'm not going to be motivated. I, I want to marinate in this happiness from winning, but that isn't how the real world works. Hi, and welcome to day four of week 10 of training cycle one of 2021. Yesterday was a hard day. I didn't have to do the Bulgarian training um, since I had a skiing race. However, that skiing race was physically demanding and I felt it during today's workout. You will soon notice that some muscle groups were affected harder than others and I couldn't complete all the reps in this workout but I could complete the workout if that makes sense. It's like going to, you know, whatever, your taekwondo practice and you're kind of done, so you have to rest a bit during the push-ups. But at least you finish the whole session, but you maybe don't get all the push-ups. That's kind of what it was like today. I did not get all the push-ups, if that makes sense. I got the squat. It was strong and solid. Um, the cross-country skiing didn't really affect my legs. Um, you can have... A special thing under your skis to make it more grippy in the snow. Um, I got some of that but it wasn't super grippy so I, I barely used my legs and it was mostly, mostly just upper body and abs and back and lats and triceps and just flying, fly, flying through basically. So obviously I used my legs but there was no specific leg muscle that got destroyed. However my triceps got destroyed. But what you just saw there is the result of triceps getting destroyed and uh, that proves a point I've always said that failing bench presses is safe and uh, if it isn't safe for you you aren't doing it correctly so that was another way I can prove my point is I just failed a eight seven and a half kilo bench press which is the same as my lifetime record I just failed it and set it right back down on the floor lifetime record attempt so I mean know what I mean like Failing bench presses is safe. Failing squats, not safe. Talking about safe, that clean was not very clean at all. No pun intended. Um, whoo, like, I really need to sleep. Um, I've gone through a whole school week of sleeping like six hours every night. And, like, I just completed a race. I just destroyed myself um, to, uh, to dominate that race. Came home. I had a bunch of stuff to do. Um... Went to bed late, woke up early, slept only six hours. Um, I couldn't sleep in the car on the way to school. Uh, I had to work on, an, um, not an assignment, but a presentation that I had for that morning. So I did that today. I've worked on a lot, bunch of other stuff. And uh, whew, I mean, it's been a packed day. And um I'm on six hours of sleep, like I said before, and I had a really hard day yesterday physically. So today was a difficult workout, but it really comes down to motivation. And even though I wasn't motivated at all, pretty much, um, I have established a habit. Habits beat motivation. A lot of guys are stupid, take pre-workouts, drink coffee, slap themselves, uh, listen to crazy music. And yeah, I get it. I do slap myself and listen to crazy music while I am lifting a maximum weight. But I can actually do that without the music even. I can probably actually do that without slapping myself. Although it really does help. My point here is you shouldn't be dependent on a bunch of different factors going your way. I can get in here on a day where I'm completely physically destroyed. Um, really want to have a rest day. Because like you just worked your butt off and just suffered through every single 10 second part of that 36 minute 23 second race you just suffered through the whole thing just attacked it attacked it and your body just all your cells are fucking dying that's not really how it works but feels like it feels like your body's dying i know that's not what's happening but feels a bit like that so you're suffering through the whole thing you get home you're satisfied and you know that I'm going to get a really short night's sleep. I'm not going to recover from this. And tomorrow I've got to train. And you're like, fuck. But then the other part of you is like, I'm a fucking machine. I just destroy this race. Why can't I destroy my training? So that's what I did today. And 
like I said before, no pre-workouts. I don't believe in pre-workouts. I'll make these videos in the future, but there are a bunch of reasons to why pre-workouts will actually hinder your progress and your gains. To where long term, literally, you will gain less muscle because you went on pre-workouts. And I'm not kidding, that's an actual fact. And I will explain that in future videos if people are interested. However, I want to get a bit stronger before I start making my own informative content. Right now, I don't feel like I'm strong enough to really be giving out content. However, um, I might change my mind fairly soon because now I'm going to have a break. Uh, I'm going to have a pretty much a two-week break. Um, one of those weeks, I'm not going to be posting workout footage here. Um, but I'm going to try this during this break to film a couple of informative videos and uh, get that stuff going because right now I've been only posting my training um, and that's mainly for documentation. Uh, a lot of people think that this is kind of boring. Um, that's why my 140 and 150 kilo deadlift videos have way more views. Also my Q&A and my A Simple Guide to Gaining Muscle. Like all these old great videos that don't really have to do with my regular training have a lot of views and stuff. And um, that's because people actually are interested in them. People aren't really interested in the daily grind. And this is the daily grind, just f f fighting through every single rep on rows. Your lats are destroyed. You just skied your arms off the day before. You just skied your fucking arms off. Just skied and skied and skied and just fought through and, and battled through so that you can just dominate a competition and you ruined all the muscles and now you've got to fucking train them. So like I said, my lats were pretty destroyed and I still went for these chin-ups today. Um, I believe I got to rep 15 and I'm like, three reps left. I got this. I went for the 16th rep. Um, I don't know, I haven't counted the reps here, but you'll see soon that I like get a really hard rep and then I try another rep and then it just stops. This might be, actually it's probably two or three more reps. Let's see. One, two, all right, here's a hard one. I get a hard one. Maybe, is it another one? No, yeah, okay, that's where it was. And then my lats are like, fuck, I can't do this. And I'm going back to the camera. And then I'm, then I'm like, fuck, no, i got to do more. So I get two more reps. And that's because I felt like I gave up. I felt like I mentally gave up. And giving up is not okay. It is not okay, all right? It's one thing to fail a lift, but giving up an intra-set, giving up during a set, that's not okay. That's not a thing you want to program into your brain. So that's why I got right back up on that bar and did two more reps, um, which was maximum. I could not have done three reps. No way. Ooh. And also I worked on my weaknesses today. Um, grip. I did a 115 hold, uh, double overhand, which this is difficult. This is fucking difficult, especially when you just did the rows and the chin-ups and uh, you rested a couple minutes, or really it's not a couple minutes, it's just a couple minutes of trying to load the weight, put the weight plates on. Um, because these black plates, they really suck. I mean, they're broken so that there's like a little ring of metal in the middle that just... Oh, fuck, it just loosens up and it and when you try to slide the weight on the metal ring gets stuck to the bar And then it's just a plate of rubber on like I can't explain it It's like a car tire is made out of the metal piece and the rubber piece It's like the metal piece in the middle that you can see there in the middle of the weight the metal piece actually dislodges from the rubber and it fucking sucks these plates suck right they are fucking bad these black plates right here's one thing if you want to know one thing from me buy good plates goodbye i just jumped rope for nine minutes and 40 seconds in a row zero fails in the end when the alarm went i did a one double jump so do the math yourself 125 130 jumps per minute times Nine minutes and 40 seconds. That's a lot of fucking jumps in a row. The calves, the feet, the quads. I'm gaining endurance in these areas. Even though I had a cross country skiing race yesterday. Your body doesn't care, it's just your mind playing tricks on you. 
I just beat my lifetime record in jump rope the day after I did a really hard cross-country skiing race. Purely nose breathing, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Machine.